It's your boy John Mike. What's going on with you guys? You know who it is. It's your boy John Mike, and I'm back again today. We're going to be talking about the world, not the globe, not the not the world, but the world panda mini. Uh, you may remember my video I did recently where I talked about the uh, world tuna mini and I'll link that up in the uh, description. This is a, a controller, microcontroller that uh, you can get on Amazon. I think I've seen them on eBay and stuff as well, but they work on, Am they, they are, they're really big on Amazon. Uh, 69 for this one. The other one that I reviewed, 79 bucks, so a $10 difference. Uh, but I'm pretty sure they're gonna be like the same controller with just a different, a couple of different, you know, switches or whatever the case may be now this one actually has a dedicated box to it the one the the tuna mini had two different controllers on the box uh and they just used a check box to tell you which one it was which is the craziest thing uh that i've ever seen like what company do in terms of their packaging uh but this one has a dedicated box uh, and uh, I'm pretty sure it doesn't come with any kind of software. It's just a MIDI controller, 70 bucks. That's what you're going to pay for it. Uh, but it seems to have a few other features that the Tuna Mini, <laughs> that just sounds so funny, doesn't have. So we're going to check this one out to see what are the difference between that and this one. So after getting it out the box, a uh, very interesting design. I don't think I've seen a controller, MIDI controller design like this, but very simple uh, packaging. All that was in there was just literally the controller and the USB cable, uh, MIDI cable. So it doesn't have any sort of like uh, sustain pedal jack. Only in and out it has on it is the actual USB uh, cable input right there. Um, this is a very interesting design and I don't know if it can be really seen. Maybe if I do it like this, you can see that there's like this kind of recessed kind of edge like nights like 45 degree kind of dip right in the middle of this this is like one of the strangest kind of things that i've seen uh in terms of a midi controller because this area is like really really thick as you can see uh and then it's kind of like recessed edge when you look at it from the top you can't really tell uh looking like that you can tell there's a dip but you can't really see it uh, but that's kind of interesting to kind of have the keys raised uh, and this kind of dip area down here to the rest of the controls. So that's the first time I've seen a design like this. Uh, keys feel just like the, um, the, the Tuna Mini does. You have the sliders, you have the four sliders here, and you have four knobs. These aren't endless knobs. Uh, like on the other one, the other one had like endless encoders. These actually have a stop to them. So some of the, some people prefer that over that. Now, as far as like your controls, you have a CC mode. You have a mod button, which feels really, really stiff. No, normal mod, normally mod buttons, they, they're, they're kind of loose. You know, they're kind of pretty, but this one is stiff and maybe you actually just have to kind of break it in. But that's a, that's a pretty stiff button. You have a program button for program doing some, I guess, some programming things. Uh, your, I guess these are your, I'm not sure what these are. These are just just cycle buttons, I guess, where you can maybe cycle through your stuff. But you got a pitch bend, you got a pitch bend down and a pitch bend up build, uh, um, uh, button. So that's cool. Bank, where you can bank over with the pads. Uh, and then a CC mode, I guess, where it changes everything to CC, mini CC versus that. The pads actually feel really, really good. They feel like the regular kind of uh, NPC style pads that you would expect from, uh, from you know, a controller. Um, they're not too stiff. Now, that was my complaint with the Tuna Mini that it felt really, really stiff. Those Those pads like felt like I was literally just tapping on a table or tapping on a hard surface. These actually have some some resistance to them, which is kind of good for that. So that's pretty cool, actually. I just it's just an interesting kind of dip that they have here to reach my controls. Let me get the tuna mini, and I'm going to bring it up on the uh, table here, and we're going to compare the two because there's a ten dollar difference in the price. So you, if you're interested in this, you may be looking at. I'm going to get this one or that one. Which one should I get? So let's get that one on the table and see what it has to offer. All right. So got them both up on the table here. You can kind of see uh, the, the differences in it. They both have the eight pads. This one has 
eight knobs and eight faders. This one has four knobs and four faders, uh, but they both have the pads. So that's one thing. This kind of has the raised key bed, interesting kind of type thing. They're both kind of the same thickness. If you look at them, if I kind of set them there with the, with the edge there, they're pretty much the same thickness. This one just kind of, the, it feels a little wider uh, definitely a little wider if you put it on top of it. It's, it's gonna, if I, if I kind of do that, you can see the length, how they kind of overlap each other. Uh, so, but this one has the pitch being slider uh, and, you know, mod wheel slider versus this one having the buttons for the mod wheel and the pitch bend. So, um, I think I like that uh, a little bit better on here, the actual even though I'm not a fan of the pitch being, I'm not a fan of either the pitch being buttons or the pitch being sliders, but when you're dealing with microcontrollers, um, I think I would prefer, I would go with this over the um, the pitch being buttons and the mod buttons, honestly. Uh, it, this would be, you know, second place and this would be third place. Regular actual pitch being would be first place. But that's this. I like the pads on this one. They give you a little bit more travel and a little bit more uh, resistance and they feel like I can actually do that, you know, actually play on those or what have you. But um, yeah, they're, they're, they're both very interesting. They, they're both very interesting. And, and if you look at them on Amazon, uh, you can take what, what I say with a grain of salt because you look on Amazon and you look at the reviews for people that have owned these particular keyboards for more than um, a month or more than six months. Uh, some are satisfied with their purchase. Uh, others just say they're cheap and they don't last long. Uh, of course, this is just an initial impression bringing it out the box. So I cannot speak to the longevity uh, or durability of these devices. Uh, it would ha I would have to spend some extensive time like traveling with these boards and really trying to use them in real world, real world situations to figure out whether or not they're going to like actually like hold up. But uh, at an at initial, you know, kind of perspective, they seem to kind of do the job if you're looking for a microcontroller. The cons for this is the price point and it is the lack of software. Uh, for what I'm paying for these controllers, $69 respectively and uh, $79, I'm not getting any software with them, like nothing, not Bitwig, not Ableton, no piano software, no no none of that i'm not getting anything with this this just i'm just getting a controller uh and so you know that that's something to kind of kind of kind of think about uh because you can get a ton of other uh controllers in this price point that's going to come with loads of software i mean loads of software even if you're not into the mini keyboard thing you could spend uh 89 bucks 99 bucks a couple of 20 dollars more and get an M Audio KeyStation 49 and get a ton of software, get Pro Tools, piano software, all kind of, you know, expand and all of this stuff that you can get with. And there are a ton of other ones in this price range that come with loads of software uh, to kind of get you started because that's, you know, that's what you need with a MIDI controller. They don't have sounds. You need your own sounds from your computer or from a module. These don't have MIDI input, so you can't you know, plug them to a module. So this, they, they just kind of assume that you have your, um, your own software that you're going to be using this with. So that's pretty much my take on these. They're, 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 they are what they are. I'm not going to say that they're the best or the worst. I've seen better, uh, in this price range. I will say that I've seen worse in this price range. Uh, but you know, this is kind of a generic, in my opinion, just kind of generic knockoff company that you see uh, them kind of doing a lot of copycatting. This one obviously is a, 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 a big attempt, a bold attempt to kind of copy the uh, Arturia. Uh, I can't really speak as to what this is trying to copy because I have not seen any um, MIDI controllers with this little, you know, heel uh, on it or whatever. So you can take that for what it's worth. Uh, I hope this video helped you. If you decide that you want to check these out, 
and try them out. You know, maybe they work, maybe they impress you, maybe the features and the price point works for you. There's an affiliate link down in the description of this video, also down in the comments, I always throw it down there, to, um, to buy these from Amazon. Uh, it helps the channel out whenever you use it. The, it. Those links, it gives us a little bit of a kickback, not a million dollars, these aren't million dollar controllers. So it just gives the channel a little bit of a kickback so I can continue buying keyboards and doing things of this nature to keep this channel going, to do reviews and give this kind of stuff to you guys. So I appreciate you guys hanging out. Something that's not gonna cost you anything is you can hit the like button, the share button. Boy, John, you can turn on notifications so you get notified when I get new gear in and get new videos dropped and all that stuff like that. You can also, um, uh subscribe and do all of those things drop a comment below i appreciate you guys hanging out and checking out the video i'll talk to you on the next one i'm out holla at your boy